Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install OBS Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. In addition, I'm going to show you how you can use OBS Studio to capture your desktop screen. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for OBS and the first link which will appear here will be from obsproject.com. So just click on this link. And once you are inside this website, straight away, you will be able to see these download buttons. Because we are on the Windows operating system, we are going to choose this Windows button here. So just click on the Windows button, which is going to start the download of this OBS Studio EXE file. I have already downloaded this file, so I'm going to cancel this download. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder. So this file looks like this with the name OBS Studio hyphen the version hyphen full installer x64. So to start the installation, just click on this file. So first of all, it's going to show you this kind of message. Do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I'm going to click on yes. And then you can see the uh, OBS Studio setup has been started. So at this first window, just click on next here. And then you will see the license terms and conditions. So read this and uh, then click on next. And this will be the location where your OBS studio will be installed. And from here you can also change the location. But if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on uh, install, which is going to start the installation of OBS studio on your Windows 11 operating system. The installation is pretty straightforward and uh, it's not going to take a lot of time. If you want to see the details, just click on show details and you will be able to see what's happening during the installation process. And now I can see uh, this message which says completed setup and then you just need to leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to just launch OBS Studio on your desktop. You can also see this OBS uh, Studio icon, which is created on the desktop. So from the next time, you can also open OBS Studio by clicking on this shortcut icon. Let me click on finish here. And it's going to launch this OBS Studio. Now for the first time, when you start OBS Studio, you will see this auto configuration wizard. You have three options here. Optimize for streaming, recording is secondary optimize just for recording i will not be uh, streaming i will be only using the virtual camera so i want to mainly use uh, this obs studio for the screen recording so i'm going to choose the second option here and then click on next and then you will be able to see the video settings option here so based on your hardware you will see uh, some uh, uh, results here. So first of all, uh, I will choose the base resolution, uh, which is uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 in my case. Uh, as I said, this depends on the hardware you have. And then I can also choose the FPS from here. For now, I'm going to leave it as default and then click on next. And uh, then it's going to finalize all the settings here. Just wait for some time. And once the settings are done, you can see the final result here and then click on apply settings. So once that's done, let's see how we can start the recording. So you need to choose the sources first of all. So you just need to right click here under the sources section. So right click and then click on add and then click on display capture to capture your desktop. And then you can also name uh, your source. I'm going to leave it as a display capture or for example, display capture one. Uh, you can leave it as default or rename it and then click on OK. And now you have the properties for display capture one. So capture method is automatic. Just leave it as uh, it is. And then the display here is uh, this one. I will also leave it as uh, uh, default and then click on OK. Now here you can also resize this. Also on the right hand uh, bottom side, let me just maximize this. Here you can see some controls. Uh, for example, start streaming, start recording, start virtual camera. 
uh, studio mode settings and exit so before pressing the start recording button we are going to do some uh, settings related related to our uh, recording so i'm going to click on settings option here and you can see a few settings here first tab you can see here is for the general settings i'm going to leave everything as default we don't want to do the streaming so i'm going to leave it uh, as it is also and then i'm going to go to the output section so here you can see two sections uh, one is for uh, streaming i'm going to leave it as default and other is for the recording so this will be the recording path by default obs studio saves your video inside your default videos folder so i have uh, this default video folder in my windows 11 operating system obs studio is going to save all the project files here also you can see generate file name without space so i generally check this checkbox this means that it's going to create the video files without any space in the name right in the file name also you have the recording quality i'm going to leave it as default which is high quality medium file size recording format i generally choose mp4 because it's easier to use and uh, simple to uh, export and edit also encoder i'm going to leave it as default and the other settings also i'm going to leave it as default then we have the audio settings here you can uh, choose the audio devices which you uh, want to use so desktop audio uh, is here or you want to uh, use the speaker also you can uh, use the mic which you want to use and once you are happy with your audio uh, settings you can also go to the video uh, uh, section here this will be the base resolution which we have selected at the time of uh, the uh, start of obs studio if you want to change it you can always change it from here output resolution i'm going to leave it as default but uh, you can also change this from the list and then you have the downscaled filter and uh, here you have all these options and the fps values right so for the first time you can leave uh, these settings as default and see uh, if, if your uh, screen recording is working or not uh, based on uh, the first video you can always change these settings right i'm going to click on apply here and then click on ok and now i can uh, just click on start uh, recording option so let's just start the recording by pressing this start recording button and once you see stop recording option here your recording is started so now you can uh, record your video for example i'm going to open the browser here i can uh, click on obs studio for example just to demonstrate that everything is working and then i will uh, just open the folder explorer and here your file will be saved and once you are done with the demonstration you can go to your obs studio and then stop this recording so i'm going to click on uh, the stop recording button which is going to stop the recording and as i mentioned earlier the default location of this recording will be your video folder so i'm going to go to the video folder and this is the video which is created so i'm going to click on this video and then uh, i can open uh, this video using any app so i'm going to uh, open this video using the default uh, uh, media player on my windows 11 operating system you can see uh, at this point i was showing the obs studio uh, website and then when i move forward you can see i was showing my desktop here so video is captured perfectly on my uh, windows 11 operating system using obs so this is how you can uh, install obs studio on your windows 11 operating system and uh, uh, capture your desktop screen using obs studio i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video